Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't learned how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, what are you waiting for? It's really fun and it's very challenging. To see the link for the lesson playlist, look for the words show more under the video to expand the video description. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any new ways to play Mahjong, maybe learn a new strategy or find some new insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Let's do some random polls for Siamese Mahjong. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're going to say we're the dealer. We get 28 tiles. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do with this set of random poles. When I play Siamese Mahjong, I try to pick options that are going to give me less than eight discards. Really, eight discards is a good goal. Find options that will give you eight discards or less. So we have a joker flower pair of souths, one, five for multiples, one, three, six, eight, nine. I think a one, three, five little odds option and maybe a three, six, nine hand. Let's pull all the one, three, fives together. So here's all the one, three, fives. One, three, let's see. One, three, five. Maybe we could play the one, three, five, one suit. Let's see here. We're kind of in between one, three, five, one, three, five. We could do one, three, one, three, five. One, three, one, three. This could be the five bam. One, three, one, three, five. And then for the next one, if we look just at multiples, we could do five, six, five, six, seven. That would leverage all but, oh, there's a multiple up here too, eight, nine. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. Five, six, five, six, seven. Let's see, or we could do, let's see. See what I mean about this being a challenge? It's very challenging. Let's see, what about if we do something three, six, nine, and one, three, five. Let's, let's rethink this, see if we can use more multiples. One, three, three, five, right here. And then something with three, six, nine. Either way, I think we're gonna have to get rid of two multiples. There's three, six, nine. Joker bait. Three, six. Okay, what about three, six, three, six, three, six, three, six, nine. 
And then up here, maybe we could do a lucky 13. 8513 flower. 8513. 8513. We don't have we can't use this. So here we have 36369. We could use this for the three. I would hold these 369, all the 369s. I think this is the way I would go. Okay, so we have, technically we have 11 discards, but if you think about it this way, nine discards with Joker bait. Because if anybody puts out an exposure with one cracks with jokers, we could maybe use that to get a joker in our hand. This idea will use all the multiples, including joker bait. One uh, lucky 13 for option one. Option two would be 369. And we don't know which one yet. I mean, it could be any number of them. Any time that you have discards, you really don't have to pick a hand. I would just gather every 369 I can until I run out of discards. So I would throw all these away. There's Joker Bait too, right there. Both of these are Joker Bait. So really we have seven discards with Joker Bait. Lucky 13 and 369. If you would do something different, let me know. Let's see here. What about instead of the, the eight BAM? Let's see if we could maybe use 8513. Oh, that's terrible. That's worse. I would I would definitely stick with the eight bams because that that other one had only four tiles. This one has seven. So yeah, this is what I would do. Let me know if you would do something different. Let's do another random pull. We got lots of multiples. Okay, so I think we should use the flowers for something, but look at this, a pung of east. We could do east and west with twos. East and west with twos. The remaining multiples we have seven, four, three, seven. Seven, four, three, seven. We could do we could maybe do, oh, I want to build around these, this pung of fours, seriously. Three, four, flower. We don't have a five crack or a two crack. We're using two cracks up here. Let's see here. Three, if we went with three, four, we would have joker bait up here. Two sets of joker bait if we did east and west with twos and then some kind of a three four plan here we don't we've got a major gap though what about if we did something here with the sevens Here's like numbers. Either way, here's four, two pairs of joker bait, and then here we would have a pung and a pair. I think it'd be better to go up here. You can only play two hands. So this I think is what I would do. Let's see here. 
what else could we do? Um, we could play maybe a lucky 13. Use, I mean, that would be joker bait if that were the case. Seven, six, one, three. There's seven tiles towards lucky 13. If we held on to the three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, same number of tiles, I'd say we're kind of in between. So here's what I would do. I would play east and west with twos and then lucky 13. I would hold these as long as possible. And if two cracks or five cracks came in, we would have the option of going to the consecutive hand with three, four, and use the sevens as joker bait. Six discards with joker bait for the, this particular plan. If you would do something different, let me know. Okay, one more. So we have a pair of flowers, red dragons, six, eight, crack, eight dot, four, eight, and nine in BAMs. I would think that maybe a two, four, six, eight hand would be good, but we have no twos at all. No twos. However, yeah, no twos. No, however, we have no twos. Okay, let's just pull all the two, four, six, eight together and see what it looks like. Maybe it'll look clearer if they're together. So here's a six, eight, here's a four, there's a six, eight. We could use these as twos, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We could maybe play the uh, pair hand. We wouldn't need that six. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. There's a lot of gaps. That's not very comfortable to me. Um, let's see. If we did maybe a three, six, nine hand, let's see if we can make something work for three, six, nine. Oh, hey, here we go. Two, four, six, eight with red. We need two BAMs for sure. There's a gap there, a big gap. But we could use these to help get us to the six and the eight, and maybe even the dragon. We need a two BAM desperately. There's a big gap there though, so that's that's definitely going to be a risk. And then for the three, six, nine, we could play. Let's see here, three, let's see, I don't know, hmm. three, six, nine. There is the flower hand, three, uh, three, six, three, six, and then nines. We don't have a nine dot, so there's gaps there too. I think this is what I would do, just the same. I would play a two, four, six, eight hand, Hold these as joker bait. Down here, I would play a three, six, nine hand. And there are way too many discards to pick a hand at this stage. I would get rid of all my discards and then pick a hand. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. 
It's really funny sometimes how you cannot see the trees for the forest when you're doing these exercises. Okay. If you haven't tried these Siamese random pulls yet and you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know what, it, what you think about it. I think it's really great practice and it helps with the decision making because when you get all those tiles, it can be a little overwhelming, I must say. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. You might pick up on some new strategies or gain an insight into the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.